So today I'm going to show you how to use a uh, Ryzen 2000 series CPU in a Gigabyte X, um, AX370 Gaming 5 motherboard. So this will work for any um, B350 or X370 Gigabyte motherboard um, and this should allow you to use a Ryzen 2000 series. So the first thing you need to do is go on to the Gigabyte website um, find your motherboard and basically get the latest BIOS and um, flash it onto a USB stick which I've got plugged in there and then you want to get your Ryzen 1000 series chip um, whether that's from a local retailer or one you already have that you're upgrading put that in the PC obviously it might already be in there so first thing you want to do is uh, load the optimized defaults for your system because you don't want any overclocks while updating a BIOS so there you can see it's all back to stock and automatic so F10 save and exit then you're going to go back into the BIOS So we've got the USB stick plugged in, you can see where it's stock. If you want to check what um, your current BIOS is, you can go on System, and uh, your BIOS version is F, mine is F9A currently. The latest one on the Gigabyte website is 23D, so this one hasn't been updated in a while. Uh, we are using a Ryzen um, 5 1600 in this system, uh, which you should be able to see somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, it's a Ryzen 1600, uh, but what you want to do is go down to this bottom tab here and you want to go on to QFlash and then you want to go on to Update BIOS and then you want to choose the folder of your BIOS on your USB stick. In my case, it's obviously this bottom one here because all of the ones are for Asus boards or a Gigabyte Z77 and then this file here you can't really see that one there then you just press enter press to start and you can click that and it should start updating so it will tell you over here the BIOS you're updating to and the one you're coming from There we go, it's finished, so the PC will reboot in a few seconds. It's come off, rebooting. You can watch the postcode when the postcode gets to 62. There we go. Oh, it's decided to go off again. And now it's going straight into Windows. I actually expected it to uh, go back into the BIOS there, but Clearly not, but we can check with CPU Z that it's done it correctly anyway. So I guess you can either go back into your BIOS or you can check. You can see there Ryzen 5 1600 main board. Here we go BIOS version F23D. So that is correct. So now all we need to do is uh, take the 1600 out and put the Ryzen 7 2700X in. So 
So we're going to do the first boot with the 2700X on the new BIOS just to make sure it works. So first thing we're going to do is go into the BIOS here. And we are on the right version of the BIOS still, obviously, because it's actually worked, which is good. You can see the frequency is 3.7 that it's supposed to be. We're going to um, enable XMP and just check those settings there. Yep, that's correct for my thing. You can see everything's on uh, automatic at the moment. You can see what voltage is the board setting there. And then we're just going to go and uh, save and exit. Boot into Windows. Check in CPU-Z. And run a quick Cinebench test just to make sure uh, everything's worked. And then obviously from there you can uh, reboot and uh, start overclocking your processor um, before you start running it, I guess. What an excellent resolution. That's nice. It's decided to make the mouse not work as well. So let's check in CPU-Z here. There we go, you can see 2700X Ryzen 7 on the Gigabyte AX X370 Gaming 5. Very nice. So we'll see, we'll do a quick run of uh, Cinebench R15 here and uh, see what the CPU boosts to. Interesting, 4 gigahertz. So it's at 4 gigahertz pretty much all the way there, we'll give it another run. You can see it set the memory timings correctly. CPU is still holding 4 gigahertz. Dipping down to 3.975 a bit there. Okay, so it's scored 1828. So if we scroll down the list here, we can see that it's slower slightly both than the Asus Crosshair Hero 7. Um, which got 1857 and the Hero 6 which got 1834 so it's only got 1828 it clocks the CPU 25 megahertz slower um, at the standard speed and it is actually two degrees cooler than it was yesterday when we uh, did the Hero 6 so anyway that's it for this um, video you can see the CPU still performs well um, not quite as fast as it should, obviously from here you'd go in and overclock it properly, maybe up to 4.2, 4.3, um, get this score um, into the mid to high 1900s and then you'd be pretty much sorted. So I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, see you in the next one.